everyone, the monsoons have finally started and I couldn't be happier sitting in a garden and shooting this video for you because if you need to know one thing about me, it's that I love monsoons too much. I wait the whole year for the season but there are a few things which I take care of on a day to day basis and don't worry, these are not going to be hacks like wear short clothes and not full clothes because you can get wet because I personally don't do that in real life. So I'll just share my uh, very common but everyday things that I do in the season of monsoons. So my first and biggest tip that I'd like to emphasize upon is do not wear light colors by themselves and go out. No nude bra is good enough for the monsoon season because if you get wet, you might be a little uncomfortable. So always wear a dark colored camisole under all light colors because let's be real, we are not going to be black kapdo mein to ghumne wale. So it's better to always wear a camisole underneath all light color tops. My tip number two would be to get rid of all the plastic hassles when it comes to umbrellas because gila umbrella rakhne mein kafi taklif ho sakti hai uh, after using it. So what I like to do is buy umbrellas which already have a plastic cover on them. I found quite a few options on Amazon and I'll leave the links down below. So how they work is they come with a hard plastic covering with them and wo kholne ke baad, you've got the umbrella inside. So even if it is wet, you can easily push it back in and they're very very compact compared to the normal umbrella so these are definitely an investment because i bought this one one year back work perfectly fine tip is to have healthy feet in monsoon. First thing that I do is to apply nail polish. Now usually I just don't like you rarely see nail polish on my hands but I apply it on my feet if I'm going for swimming or if it's the monsoon season because the water is not the cleanest and it can affect the color of your nails and it can affect it from inside as well. So this acts like a raincoat for the nails. Following that, I have this tip for the shoes that avoid closed shoes like sports shoes and socks to ekdam hi avoid karo because if they are cloth and if they stay wet then firstly your feet will start smelling but they smell because they are catching infection. So bacteria hota hai, isliye they start stinking. So try to wear open shoes. Like for me personally, I like wearing little sandals like these. So it's not open that there is no chance to fill water in it. Plus uh, these ones are synthetic, they are not cloth from anywhere. Avoid canvas material because canvas might stay wet even if it's a sandal. So synthetic material material is better in the rainy season. My next step is to not just put your electronics in a ziplock bag but also put your wallet in a ziplock bag because not all of us can use the Aluma wallet uh, in the rainy season. If you're using a normal wallet then put it in a ziplock bag to make sure that your notes do not get wet because uh, I have actually lost a bit of money when my wet notes were torn before I could set them for drying. So yeah, do make sure that your money is safe as well and ziplock bags are perfect because they are reusable you're not going to just throw them away after the rainy season and they're very easy to open and close and they don't go to the toot If you're going somewhere fancy then I'd highly suggest that don't wear that outfit and go directly because if your commute is long the chances are that the outfit might get torn on the way so carry that good outfit in your bag and wear a normal outfit while you're way there and once you're there you can either change at a friend's place or if it's a meeting you can change in the washroom in the lobby and then you can head on for it. And last but definitely not the least all my my fellow foodies, please try to stay safe in the rainy season because I know that if you eat the water without it, it will not be enough for 2 days or 2 days. So I will leave the links to some water puri kits, powders that you can make at home because the only thing with rainy season is that you should not have food which has the rain water in it. So preservatives are in all the kits but preservatives are still better than catching cholera due to unhygienic water. Usually what happens in these kits is that you just have to mix water at home then you will have the water puri ka pan and ready made puri is still there. If you eat the water, now chaat jo bhi khana hai to uh, i'll leave food ka links down below too so you can still have your favorite food and be safe so, these were my very regular everyday rainy season hacks that i like to follow and if even one tip helped you then this video was worth making and i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye